Good morning, DP. You know, the other day I was wondering, how many of you have ever heard of a book? Please raise your hand. How many of you have ever read a book? Raise your hand. Now, how many of you have ever written your very own book? I personally have not written my own book, but this week, I got the opportunity to meet two people who did write their own book. Two authors, in fact. One of which goes to Dos Pueblos High School and is currently a senior, the other of which is a DP alumni. Stay tuned for more info. I'm Kobe Coffer, and you're watching Kobe's Corner. <music> Helen Fanestock, a charger, has been writing, editing, and illustrating her original 400 plus page novel for the past five years by the name of Paper Stars, and now she's currently working on publishing, but she doesn't plan on stopping there. I got to get the inside scoop on her story in a segment I like to call Cornered. Paper Stars is set in the summer of 1944, and it's told from the point of view of a young woman living in the German country countryside um, of Nazi Germany, and um, her life completely changes when her family um, takes in a Jewish boy and hides him in their attic. Is this a true story? It's not a true story, but I've done a great deal of research and read a bunch of, um, you know, nonfiction memoirs about it. So, I mean, it's it's a fic fictional story, but it's based in realism. I've been writing since I can remember. Like, I, my mom has some of my first um, short stories when I was like in kindergarten. So, if um, the writing doesn't work out, I'm definitely going to go into the English field, probably major in English literature, and be a teacher or professor. <laughs> In other news, the other week, I got to talk to former DP alumni Teddy Steinkellner. Teddy graduated from Stanford University in 2011 with a degree in English, where he began writing his first novel, Trash Can Days, a middle school saga. Trash Can Days was recently published by Disney, you may have heard of them, and has since been getting tons of press. The theme of this book is, uh, well, it takes place in junior high, and in, it's a very weird and pubescent, um, strange time. So the theme is really becoming an adult and becoming a, a man uh, or a woman, and kind of the different paths people take to get there. What does that mean physically, uh, emotionally, mentally? So that's the theme of the book. And what, as for what inspired it, I would say my experiences uh, growing up in Santa Barbara and in Goleta. And speaking of that, I hear you're also a student of Dos Pueblos High School, which I also attend. Can you tell me about what you did in Dos Pueblos High School when you were a student there a little? Yeah, well, I, yeah, I'm not currently a student. I, I, look, I look like I am currently a student at DP. I did lots of stuff. Uh, I did improv was kind of my big thing I did for four years. I did holiday package, mm. mock trial, um, leadership. I was the commissioner of clubs and orgs. Sounds like a lot to fit in your schedule. Did you do anything extracurricularly? In, yeah. You're watching Santa Barbara Uncensored. I did a uh, 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 good adverb. Uh, extracurricularly, um, two of my friends uh, and I, me, two of my friends and I hosted, got it, um, uh, uh, one of whom went to DP, hosted a public access TV show where we sat on a couch and, and talked about stuff. That's why I'm so comfortable on camera right now. This is a book about middle school. Um, it is, uh, but I would say that my experiences at DP colored a lot of what's in there. To the extent that I write books, more books in the future, they will definitely be about high school and I think they will definitely be uh, inspired by DP. <laughs> Kobe, thank you for having me in your corner. <laughs> in life and right now. Interested in seeing Teddy in person? Well, you're in luck. Fear not, for Teddy is coming to us, DP, tomorrow, Tuesday, September 24th, in the library during 6th period and after school. Be there. I know I will. <laughs>